Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be unstuffing my wallet, stuffing my saving challenges, my wallet again, and my sinking funds. So if you like these kind of videos, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and join the family. Leave me a comment down below and let's get started. Okay y'all, so these are my new cash breakdown sticky notes. And if you follow me on Instagram, then you have already seen these if you checked out my stories, but these are the new sticky notes that are coming to the shop. It's been a while since I've had some, you guys know this was my previous, um, design and we have rocked that design for like three years something like that so i finally have some new designs of course a pink because y'all know i'm a pink girl and then i wanted to do a um, more minimalist color for you guys so actually this is my second time writing this sticky note out because now i go to the bank every week and every time i give them any type of slip or something they always give it back to me but today was my first time using the pink one and I didn't get it back so <laughs> I was like yeah I definitely think they kept that on purpose but it's totally fine so I'm gonna set this to the side so we can get into the budget okay so today is the ninth today is actually my I think ninth year anniversary 16 17 18 19 21 2 3 yes so nine years ago on june 9th i graduated from the university of houston with my bachelor's degree so today is i can't believe it's now wait a minute i'm like i just had my okay yeah so that means i've been out of high school for about 14 is that right 13 years 14 years something like that you know the years are just starting to blend together so but i know that i graduated from college on june 9 2014. all of my major bills have been paid for the first part of the month which is um always the most expensive time of the month as far as bills are concerned once we get into the second half of every month it's a lot lighter for me um i accidentally checked this off by electric electricity for this month has not been paid. I think that bill comes at the end of the month, if I'm not mistaken, because my last electricity bill I paid like in the last week of May. So I'm still getting used to it. It's a new company that I'm um, with. So this bill, I just didn't pick it up and put it over here, but this bill was actually paid on Wednesday. So that bill is done. So this bill is not, I'm just gonna leave it alone this is a business bill that comes out of the business account so that's nothing personal that's going to come out um i am expecting to have an, another extra electricity bill um from my complex but i have no idea if that's going to happen or not so we don't have too much to um, put aside for as far as bills are concerned for this upcoming week this is always like my breather week i say like the first through like the eighth is pretty heavy every month um, but this week is just kind of more relaxed this week is not too bad as well even though we do have more bills to pay it's not that bad so I need to make a couple of notes here because this is also the month that I need to um, schedule my doctor appointments dentist appointments and I just kind of got into the habit of doing th these things in the summer because when I was a teacher it was always easier to um, get these things done during break so yeah I'm going to the optometrist although I feel like I just went there I don't know they text me and told me it was time to come back so once again y'all time is just it's all blending in together so I'm just gonna put these on the side over here because it's no specific like date that I need to do these, but I do need to make sure that I schedule these appointments sometime this month um, just to get this stuff done. And I feel like if I don't put it down in my calendar, in my planner, it's not gonna happen. That's just the bottom line. If I don't put it down, it's not gonna happen. And I know it's crooked, I don't have my tweezers on me, so we're just, it is what it is. Um, only had one no spend day this week, and that would be because 
your girl completely forgot to buy coffee with my groceries and I knew that my bill was a little bit lower this week and I was like ooh I thought I really like saved money on groceries I was like you know are things decreasing like I'm, I spent less money this week um but then I realized that I did not um buy my coffee pods and all that good stuff so what I thought I had left over from groceries, I just used to buy coffee throughout the week. So I've been doing that pretty much every day. So my only no spend day this week was Sunday for a total of three for the month so far. So I think that's it for um, the monthly view. There's some things coming up later on in the month, but we'll talk about that when the time comes. So I'll flip to the budget page. And I do often get asked what planner is this for like my new friends that come on come into the all things plan family this is a seven by nine Erin Condren monthly planner so um, I have this I have a link in my description box to these planners um, in case you're wondering so let's see y'all I think mostly okay Netflix was paid my phone was paid um, you guys know I'm a month ahead on rent so Throughout this month, I am saving for July's rent. June's rent is already paid. Um, as of right now, that's all my budget can afford. I cannot afford to be ahead on every single bill um, because when you are a small business owner, like my rent is a top priority, but then I have to also put money aside that you guys don't see for business expenses, business investments. Um, so that's where nice portions of my money go to as well so i didn't want to stress my budget and stress myself with trying to pay or trying to be a month ahead on every single bill i was like you know what let's just get the heaviest bills out of the way so i just focus on rent in a good month i'll focus on rent and health insurance because that's my second largest bill other than that all these other bills that individually are less than a hundred dollars i just pay those throughout the month because it's fairly easy to pay those bills so um, for my event ticket, I thought it was 36. It was actually $30, so I saved $6. And then the rest of these things will just get filled in throughout the month. Okay guys, so um, going into the wallet first, I pretty much have kind of already did my numbers off camera. So I think I'm gonna keep the two in spending. And you guys know that I kind of do, you know, like I'll go through things off camera before I film just so that it's more cohesive for you all because y'all know budgets can be a hot mess. So I'm like, let me look at some of this stuff ahead of time so I could be a little bit more put together on camera so that, you know, because it makes it hard for you guys to understand if I'm all over the place. So I try to try my best to do a little bit off camera so that I'm not all over the place on camera. So yeah guys, if you are new to my channel, I just want to say hi to all my new friends, all my new family members as I should say. Welcome to the channel. And yeah, I just kind of show you guys how I budget. I live a very low maintenance lifestyle. Um, your girl does not have like shopping habits or problems or anything like that. I am a huge believer in, you know, saving my money or like spending it on an experience like going on a trip with friends or family or myself so um, as far as everyday spending and living I live a very low maintenance lifestyle and I kind of show you guys how I am able to use this system um, with low amounts so where I am right now is you guys see we have quite a bit of money left over from the wallet and this is something that does not happen all the time I'm going to take this money and stuff it in my saving challenge. That means that here in the weekly check-in, I have to allocate that I've technically spent this money. I haven't spent it, but I've put it aside. So if I put in my weekly check-in that I didn't spend this much money, then like essentially that would be money that needs to be in my wallet to go back to the bank, but that's not happening. So I allocate for it in my weekly check-in so that the budget kind of balances, you know, if that makes sense. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. So um, everything is going to get zeroed out for this week except for spending because you guys know I have the $2 left. And I think that is the only $2 that I'm not 
stuffing into the saving challenge. Okay, so I'm putting that 45 was used because even though it wasn't spent, it was used. It's gonna be used for saving challenges. So, um, and 30, and then zero, and zero. And then for spending, I have $2 left, so I spent $8. I hope that that's not confusing for y'all. So essentially, I'm putting, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, $41 in the saving challenge. So we are in the month of June. And for um, a few people have asked, quarter four is gonna be releasing on, I think July 31st, or was it June 30th? I think June 30th is when quarter four is releasing. So. The amounts that I wanted to do today would be 18, 19, three, and one for 41, yes. Okay, so y'all could tell I don't usually have this much money left over in my wallet. I don't even know what to do with myself. <laughs> so let's uh, get those amounts together. So we're doing 18, we are doing 19, three and one. So that's not too bad because I was trying to um, knock off as many of the big ones as I could. I wanted to get this one of the 16s, but I wasn't able to do it this week but I'm gonna aim for it next week for sure. Um, so this is kind of like my motivation to not spend so much money during the week from my wallet, if I can. If I need it, you know, it is what it is, I need it. But sometimes I just spend what's in my wallet because it's there. But this is helping me to like only spend what I really need to spend and not just spend the money just because it's there. So, Let's put this money away and there we go. So this is where we are. This is quarters one and two. We're almost done with quarter two, which is exciting. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and put this two from spending into the bank envelope because being that I don't spend this money throughout the rest of the month, um, this will just be extra money that just goes back to the bank. Okay, y'all, so we will go ahead and fill in what's remaining for the month. So for spending, I started with 40, I spent eight, so I'm at 32. For gas, I had 180 and I used 45. I'll say I'll use instead of spent, cause like I didn't spend it all, <laughs> but it is being used for something else. And I do live near a main street, so I apologize if you guys can hear cars and trucks. Groceries is 280, I spent 70, so that's 210. Um, home was 60, I spent 15, so that's 45. Eating out was 100, I spent 30, so we have 70 left for the month. Beauty, I didn't spend anything, so I still have 60. Um, oh crap, that was meds. Meds was 50, no! And y'all, I don't have any white out because um, <laughs> I ran out and I just haven't bought any more. So we'll just do like that. 50, and then beauty is 60. Okay, so for this week, spending is getting 10. Gas is getting 45. Grocery 70. Home 15. This week, I'm going to only do 15 because I'm really not going anywhere. I could give myself more, but again, I'm trying to like pull back on spending just to spend or just because the money's there. 
nothing for meds um and then beauty i was supposed to take out my 60 dollars, but i forgot so i'm gonna have to do that next week so this is what the weekly check-in is looking like okay y'all so we have 50 and 70 90 110 120 130 140 145 150 155 160 165 170 175 180 185 and this is 20 i'm not going to count it all so 185 plus 20 is 205 okay so yeah, y'all, they took my little cash breakdown and did not give it back, honey. I was like, okay. I didn't even say anything because they've made comments before at this bank about the breakdown sticky notes. They're like, oh my God, it's so cute. And I'm like, thank you. So she, she gives me my sticky note back um, every week. So the fact that she didn't give it back this week and this is my first time using the new design, I, I'm like, yeah, she definitely kept that on purpose, but it's okay. So, yes, I am so excited. There's not really anything going on, but I'm just so excited. Um, yes, yeah, so I wanted to um, thank you guys for your comments in my last video because I didn't realize to, at least to me maybe y'all couldn't hear it in my voice but i remember like watching my video editing it and just like feeling really sad um i didn't really feel sad while i was filming but when i went back to edit it i could hear the sadness in my voice and i think i just was having a moment about like just like you know the state of our economy where it is right now like how things are so expensive like how you can't, you know, just like, I don't know. I was just really feeling down about it. I was like, man, like, you know, I'm just like so sick of things being so expensive. Like y'all know, like these bills have just been like compounding. And that's what I wanted to thank you guys for. Like letting me know, like, girl, you are not the only one. My bills have been going up. Our, our bills are going up. It's crazy. And you know, there's strength in that. Like there's strength in knowing that you're not alone. Um, when you start experiencing things like this and this just goes to show why community is so important because you know i was talking to my mom earlier today and she was saying like life you know you have really good moments and you'll have really hard moments and i just kind of realized like it's in those really hard moments that you need community and you need to know that what you're seeing or experiencing you're not alone so um, yeah, I just want to thank you guys for, cause I didn't even ask for that. I don't think, at least I can't remember if I did, but you guys just kind of jumped in the comments and like, let me know, like you are not alone. Like this is happening to me. This is happening to people I know. Like, yes, it's a whole thing. Like just the country, everything. We're just, um, in a season of inflation right now. So that was very encouraging for me. Um, so thank you guys. So I have a lot of coins this week. Um, so those will be going into the coin box and I have, I don't know how I don't have any receipts cause I've been to, I've gotten coffee. I don't know if I, and I went to CVS too. So I don't know if I just accidentally put the receipt somewhere else. Um, I know I have some receipts. Maybe I just stuffed them in my purse instead of putting them in the wallet. So I got to check on that. And then those are my cards. So next, um, I'm going to start stuffing the sinking funds. Yeah, so, I mean, you guys know, like, if you are just starting out on this journey or if you've been on this journey like myself for quite some time, whether it's on and off, on, you know, it doesn't matter. You guys know, like, how hard we work to, you know, make our situations better you guys know let me see where i'm gonna put this right there because see i updated it i haven't updated in a while so i just had to write it down but since i updated now i can use it okay yeah so you guys know like we work hard to save money we work hard to you know be consistent with putting money to the side so that we can enjoy life we work hard to come out of debt we work hard so when stuff just starts turning up in the economy, it is very discouraging. So I have 25, um, one, two, three, four, five, 
And y'all, this is just like gonna buy me lunch because my birthday's in two months. So it's just not too much that we're gonna be able to do with this envelope, but that's okay. Cause then that's lunch I don't have the budget for out of my paycheck. So, um, yeah, we, we work hard. We, we really work hard. If you have, um, you know, we work hard at, at our jobs. When I was a teacher, you know, I worked hard. If as a small business owner, I work hard. If you have a side hustle, you work hard. We work hard. And it's just like, you know, the last thing we want to see is like the economy turn upside down and all of our hard work goes down the drain. And I think I was just feeling that way last week. Like, I was like, man, this is messed up. Like, we got to get it together. So retirement has five, six, 10, 15, 20. And then you kind of can get to a point where, like I said, you feel like it's just you. You be like, okay, like, what am I doing wrong? Or what am I not doing? Or what do I need to do? And then, you know, when you are in community and the community lets you know, like we are all experiencing this or most of us are experiencing this as a whole, then you know, like, okay, this is just one of those moments that I just have to trust God through and, you know, trust that he will kind of normalize the economy and, you know, that we'll make it through. I mean, we made it through a pandemic um, and not everybody did. I personally know people who didn't, but we, if you are alive and well, we made it through the pandemic. So if we can make it through that, we can make it through anything. We're gonna make it through inflation. Who y'all, we are gonna make it through. So car maintenance has, wait, am I missing something? Yes. Um, I put five in 120, 30, 135, 36, 37, 38. And someone had, um, I think I, I posted something that Dave Ramsey posted or I reposted it to my community tab. Um, I don't even remember what it said, y'all. I just saw it in the moment. I was like, oh, that's encouraging. So I um, posted it to the community tab and one person had said that, um, she was struggling to budget so girl i don't know if you're watching this video but i just want to give you encouragement that you know it's okay you know one thing i've learned about budgeting is that it will always change so it's literally a journey it's not a destination so don't think that you know if things change that that's a bad thing 25 6 7. yeah 27. Um, you know, as life changes, whatever changes happen in life is going to cause a change to your budget, whether it's in your control or not. Like inflation is out of our control. We really, we literally can't control that, but it's affecting our lives, our budgets. Um, but you know, I just want to encourage her, encourage you to get into the community and just, even if you just watch videos, if you can't bring yourself to actually get into budgeting yet just keep watching the videos you know just keep watching and over time you'll find the strength to kind of get into it and just figure out your own path so april and may has 10 15 20 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 but yeah i know it's hard i know it's not easy and, but I promise if you just stick with it and just continue to fight to make budgeting a part of your life, one day you'll get there. Just don't give up, don't stop trying. So, miscellaneous is getting to, and yeah, so I'm like, it's crazy because that video is actually performing pretty well and I didn't think it would. Um, my last week's video, I really didn't. I was like, man, I feel like my energy is low. I feel like I don't sound as like happy and cheerful because I wasn't like deep down inside. I wasn't. Um, but I, you know, I still did it. So I still showed up, still filmed it. And I'm like, God is good because it's actually, you know, it's performing pretty well. And that's probably because of you, your guys' comments of just, you know, us strengthening each other in the community. So I am back today feeling a lot better. So 
So miscellaneous has 15. Uh, yes, let me pay attention. Y'all know I start messing stuff up when I get, get into my preacher mode. So <laughs> gifts is getting two for 27. And I'm also changing some things up in my budget. Um, kind of on the end that you guys don't see here on camera, but like how I say for taxes, how I've been handling like business investments. Um, I'm changing those things up and already I'm like, oh yeah, this definitely is what I needed to do. So my God child has 20, 40, one, two, three, and four. So I'm changing some things up in that way. And medical is getting five. I actually should have given myself something for medicine because um, I'm running low on a few things. So medical has 65 and this is all for the high priority binder I had to get rid of those baby pink envelopes um, as much as I love them I needed a I wanted to go with a berry pink or a hot pink or something for the summertime just to kind of brighten up the binders and you know color color can affect your mood so <laughs> you see some bright colors it just might brighten your mood but no I love doing a binder refresh or envelope refresh I love doing that so um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my low priority binder and come back to um, stuff those okay y'all so just like the high I also went ahead and updated my thing for um, my thing, my dashboard for um, my low priority binder because um, I had I did go a couple weeks, which I always say that myself is last. You know, I try to make sure I stay on top of your guys' orders and whatever I need to refresh for myself. I take care of me last. Um, so I had kind of needed to update my stuff and I finally got a chance to do that so now I don't have to write my amounts down so that's nice so car tax is getting two dollars and yes I'm behind on my car tax I absolutely am um, so whatever consequence I have to pay it's it is what it is I'm not stressing about that so I have 103 that was just like my solo trip I was like I am going on a trip and I don't care what my budget has to say about it. And no, that's not something I practice because y'all know I am the budgeting. I do not play about it. I budget everything. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to have fun. I don't care. <laughs> and sometimes you have to have those moments where you just, yeah, you just do something for you. Um, let's see. Electronics is getting two because technically I'm going somewhere in August. And my dad was like, I talked to my dad the other day because where I'm going in August, which y'all will know about later, I'm going by myself too. So my dad was like, oh, you should see if your sister wants to go. He don't like me traveling by myself, which I get it. Like he's a dad. But I, I told him, I was like, uh, it's kind of expensive. So <laughs> I don't know. So that's why I'm really not supposed to be doing anything right now, but just to kind of get ready for August. Um, because I'm getting my hair done and lashes, and all that good stuff. So August is going to be expensive, which is why I gave up on that birthday envelope. And I was like, you know what? That'll just be lunch. Um, so I'm not supposed to be going anywhere. I'm supposed to be sitting my behind down until August. But I'm like, um, I could do a little something because it's the summertime. So why not? So that's why I said I'm going on a little mini solo trip this month. And I don't care what my budget has to say about it. Um... <laughs> Emergency is getting five, so I have oh, 1200 
10, 15, 20. 12, 20. Yeah, so. This is your reminder, if you haven't done any self-care in a while, girl or guy, it's time. It is time. Giveaways is getting $2, which a giveaway is coming. I'm trying to get through the vellum sale. Um, oh, that's what I forgot to tell y'all. So, if you watch my Instagram story, I did let you guys know that my um, vendor sent me the wrong laminate they sent me glossy instead of oh you know what i actually throughout during the week i ended up putting another dollar in here to make it 40. um i forgot why i think i need to change and i was like a dollar short or something like that so i have 42. but yeah so my vendor ended up sending me the wrong vellum for the mat, they I was supposed to it was supposed to be a, a new box of matte laminate, but it was another box of glossy. So um if you ordered matte vellum envelopes for, for me from me for the sale, my new laminate sheet should be here by this weekend or Monday at the latest. So I'm going to be working on getting out the rest of the matte vellum orders next week and i did put that note on my website in case you guys go check it out i know sometimes y'all will go look at the website for like updates and stuff so i did put it on the website um i have about seven more orders left of the glossy vellum and i'm gonna knock those out this weekend and then i have about 14 orders left for the matte vellum but again i ran out of matte laminate sheets i opened up my new box to see that it was glossy instead of matte and i went through guys i went back through my order to make sure that i didn't that i ordered matte and i went to the order and i did so they gave me the wrong stuff so hopefully that gets rectified in the next week christmas has 50 one two three four and five um so yeah once i get through the vellum orders then we will have a giveaway and i'm gonna start putting more money in christmas after my birthday so after the month of august that's when i start putting putting more money in christmas functions is getting two four 20 one two three four and five 25 So yeah, I think the vellum sale was two weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken. The 20s, the 26th through the 28th of May. So I was trying to get everything out in two weeks. Um, and again, like I said, the glossy orders will be completely done this weekend. And then Matt will take a little bit longer because of the mishap. But they will be to you guys soon. So thank you so much for waiting. Car tires has 50, 70, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. So that is it for the stuffing. That is it for my little encour encouragement sermon <laughs> that I had. And yeah, I hope that you guys, if you were feeling a little down, I hope this video encouraged you a little bit. And, you know, just know that you're not alone in trying to figure out your budget, dealing with inflation. You are not alone. So y'all leave me a comment down below um, and let me know how you're doing. And I thank you guys so much for encouraging me when I needed it, even though I didn't even ask for it. Y'all just did it. And I appreciate that. So um, if you have any questions about the sale or anything like that, y'all can let me know down below. And if not, then I will see you guys back next week, next Friday for the next cash stuffing.